Hi everyone, in this video I'll walk you through several steps in order to use properly trigger conditions in Power Automate. This will allow you to run every step of your workflow at specific conditions. Imagine to run a flow when the status is only approved, for instance. Alright, let's get started. Here I am in Microsoft Teams. I have the general channel of the marketing team open. Now, what I would like to do here is create a new list and trigger a Power Automate flow every time that the status change of a list item, when the status has a specific value. In order to create a new list, I'm going to click on the plus button next to the Marketing Campaign tab. And here I'm going to use the Lists app to generate a new list. Let's click on the Save button so I can move to the next step, which is create a list. Then I'm going to select a predefined list. For my purpose, I'm going to use this template, Work Progress Tracker. Let's click on Use Template. I'm going to leave this name. I'm going to select another color, which is my favorite orange. And then let's click on Create. This list contains an out-of-the-box Power Automate flow which reminds to the user when the due date is going to expire three days before. I'm going to click now on Next and then on Close. Now, I would say that I'm ready to start to trigger my Power Automate flow, but before to do it, let me add a fake, a first fake data. Here I'm going to add some content. All right, I added some data and now I can click on the drop down progress. I want to trigger my Power Automate flow when the status change in in progress. So first of all, this is not started, of course, then I can click on save and now I have some data inside. So what I can do here is start to play with Power Automate and to do that, I can go on the three dots and I can open this in SharePoint or I can open directly in the browser powerautomate.com. Here I am now in powerautomate.com. I can start to create a new flow. I'm going to click on create automated cloud flow and here I'm going to send a reminder to specific user when the status change in, in progress. Marketing campaign tasks progress. I'm going to trigger this thing every time that a new item has been modified. So let's click now on the button Create. And now that I have my Power Automate flow, I can start to target the SharePoint site. I'm going to set, I don't see here, yes, it is here, Marketing, and then Work Progress Tracker. So theoretically, I am already ready to go I can now start to add a condition, for example. And normally we are used to, to work now with, for example, with the progress value and then check if the progress value has a sp specific value. In this case, progress is equal to progress. Now I remember that the real value was not in progress, but it was in progress. So then I can use this kind of approach, checking the status and then doing something if the status is in progress or not. This is the traditional and the standard way that we are used to work with Power Automate Flow. What if there is a better way to do that? This will save you time and steps. In fact, with the approach that I'm going to use, I don't need to create these kind of steps. I can delete this condition and then I can work directly on the trigger. The magic is called trigger condition. Now clicking on the three dots and going on settings, you can find here below trigger conditions. This is extremely useful. In those cases, you want to trigger a Power Automate flow only at specific conditions. In my case, I want to trigger my Power Automate flow only when the status value is in progress. Before to add my expression, I want to highlight the options that you have to set your expression. Here I have in the documentation how to use the conditions and the expression. So here there are several options. I have 
the normal and standard equals very useful to compare data and if a specific value is contained in a, in a column or in a parameter or in a variable there is empty greater you can even combine condition and or you can build complex scenario when your power automate flow should be triggered you can find this link in the description of this video to this useful documentation now let me go back i have now already seen what is the right expression for me i'm going to use equals trigger outputs body progress value i want to check the value of the progress column and if this one is equal to in progress then my power automate flow should go further and forward now to be sure that this thing it's going to be triggered properly i'm going to use the connector outlook to send to myself an email as a confirmation so i'm going to select my email now then here let's put something here in the body power automate flow marketing there we go and now in the body i'm going just to type trigger it. all right now i can save my flow and now that is saved i can jump in microsoft teams or sharepoint to check if my list is here and if i can change the status here in progress now i'm going to change the value and i'm going to set for example block it if i do this of course my power automate flow will be not triggered because as we have seen before this will trigger only when the progress status will be set to in progress now just to double check if the email come i'm going to reopen the browser instance where i am logged in as giuliano and if i open now outlook i can see that i have no email coming even if i change the status now it's time to change the status here in in progress and it's just a matter of seconds i should see coming an email in my outlook let me open outlook and here we go finally i got my email is here trigger at power automate flow marketing cool right so this is pretty useful and you can instead of writing a lot of steps in your power automate flow you can summarize this thing using trigger conditions all right we have seen a best practice in power automate how to use properly trigger conditions if you enjoyed this video please consider to subscribe like and comment put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future and let me know what do you think about this video all right i hope to see you next time bye